Entities in ODK let you represent the people, the places, the things that you care about so that you can follow up with them over time. When you combine entities with ODK's powerful forms, you can do things like longitudinal data collection, site inspections, case management, any kind of workflow that involves repeat encounters over time. Let's look at an example of a simplified household survey. We're gonna add some participants and collect some baseline data about them. And then later on, we'll follow up with them in a second form. In the ODK Collect mobile app, I'm going to start new form and I'm going to select the add participant form. Here, I'm going to put in someone's name and their birth date. This is collecting some background information on the entity, in this case, the study participant. In some workflows, it's convenient to add barcodes to our entities. So let's look at an example of doing that. We can also capture the participant's location, and that can be another useful way to look up the participant later on. Once we've gotten some of this background information on a participant, we can continue to the actual survey questions. When we're ready to follow up, again, we'll start new form. By default, Collect will get new entities every 15 minutes but I can speed that up by tapping the refresh button. So now I'm ready to follow up. The easiest way to follow up will be by scanning the ID card. This will let me immediately find the right person I'm looking for. So here we go. Down here, we can see some details about the participant that we could confirm with them to make sure that we found the right person. In some workflows, it won't be possible to use ID cards so we could instead use location to look up our participants. Let's look at our map. We haven't moved, so we would expect this to be the person we just registered. And here we can see a little bit of information about the entity to again confirm that we're talking to the right person. Once we select that person, we can see those details again reflected at the bottom of the screen. Finally, another way to look up participants is to search by name or some other property that we've saved. Here I'm going to filter the list by name. And we have a name conflict. And so I'm going to select one of the people, uh, one of the Charleses, and see if this birth date matches. It does not. So we have to be careful and make sure that we select the correct Charles. The information down here allows us to confirm this. There are many ways to look up participants and to link forms using entities. These are just three that you might consider using. Once we've identified the right participant, we can go on to the survey questions. Entities add so much power to ODK, and we hope that you'll check them out. If you already have a central server, you should see the Entities tab in all of your projects. If you're just getting started with ODK, you can request a demo and that will be specifically tailored to your use case. There are links for both of those below. There's so much that we want to do with Entities. We've been sharing our process on the forum as well as on social media. Uh, please ask us lots of questions, give us feedback. The more you tell us about your experience, the better we can make this software for everybody.